I'll get someone else. I'll get someone good for you guys, okay? And I will catch you guys next week. Hey, let me know what that announcement is, by the way. Uh, send me a message, Pug. I'll bring you that jar. <laughs> yeah, bring you that jar, dude. Anybody, I don't care. I'm really having fun commentating. I apologize if anybody's getting tired of me, but I'm trying to level up my, uh, my commentary game. At least get better at learning things about the game, talking about it. But anyways, I think we're we're hopping into the game. This is definitely not a bottle button check. All right, we good. All right, so straight into game one, Smashville. Pelka versus Rafi. A bit of a struggling matchup for Rob. I know Rafi specifically says he has a lot of trouble with this matchup simply because of the item play that Diddy has. Actually beats out Gyro, surprisingly, and leads to some really good confirms with Rob's big body. So, guys, Mars on commentary. I'm still here, dude. I, yeah, I, I have not left. I even asked him, like, do you want someone else? And he's like, eh. Mm, I mean, like, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I just feel bad. Everybody's probably getting tired of my voice. No, no, no. Absolutely not. You know what I said in the car. But, um... What? You, the the, the name's gonna get that $50 later. Is that uh, what you said in the car? Yeah. It's no way. Beepoop's gonna have the stock. Yeah. Alright, so I don't know how familiar Pelka is with the Rob matchup, but here he is in Losers Finals, beating XL. Pretty, pretty solid victory, I'd say. Um... I kind of wanted my vengeance, but I guess not today. Now this is a kind of a tough matchup for, for Rob, but Rafi's doing a really good job of calling out all the options that Pelka has. Um, yeah, I think Rafi's doing like a really good job at like walling him out and then tacking on damage, and it doesn't seem like he has a problem getting kills. I don't think Pelka knows Dang. how to DI that. And using his, uh, his own banana against him, Rafi, his whole set has actually been getting it a lot. Uh, he tried to set up the gyro, got hit by the uh, command grab. It's still definitely doable from Pelka though. One banana to. Monkey I was play? expecting like up smash. Yeah, uh, yeah. up smash or like up -smash. F smash if it even yeah. reached like perfect pivot up smash. Uh, F smash. Do you know which has a uh, more knockback? I believe F smash is stronger. Yeah, that'll and do it. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, you're not kidding, man. Lots of uh, lots of beep boobs set up the, the points. But uh, yeah, a lot of b boobs. Pelka's definitely gonna have to learn how to respect the uh, the grab game from Rafi. Other than because uh, yeah, and I was just telling Hazmat. Uh, man, you're even clacking on my controller. I I even uh, dude, I need to clack, man. It's an addiction. I told Hazmat last time uh, one of the reasons why Pelka was doing so good against XL is actually because he was using the monkey flip uh, so well in that matchup. But now it's actually flipped. Rafi's calling out that monkey flip option, and he knows that his up air is gonna beat it out, and it's gonna rack on a ton of damage, maybe mm. even lead to a kill. But game three, let's see if the battlefield counter pick is gonna help out Pelka in any way. See, I like the decision from Pelka to like only. I mean, I don't know if I like it, but like, he's only pulling out banana like once he uh, confirms a hit in the air and he's got the time to do so and grab it with like, with ease. Yeah, so he knows that he's safe. The rap is mm. not gonna hit him with any like uh, projectile shenanigans. Mm. So right now, uh, Raffi slowly uh, getting back his momentum. But Pelka kind of showing dominance at the beginning yeah. of this game. I think the counter pick is, is actually helping out. Either that or he made the right adjustments. The 40 though, that's like his best move. And Rafi, uh, okay. I was just saying Another that. One. Insanely, it's insanely good. I'd, I'd say second best in the game next to Sheik. Maybe, did he Forte? Forte? Uh, yeah, I want to say it's like the best in the game. Really? It's like it has massive range. It comes out super fast. Um, maybe not the best. I think there's like one that's maybe Sheik. equal to that and safe. Because, like, <laughs> Sheik, yeah. Sheik, uh, yeah. I, I didn't want to say that. I meant to say Sheik. But <laughs> it's yeah, a, oh, down air. All right, bold choice. Yeah, Rafa going for the hard read there. It's actually down a considerable percent right now, Ooh. but one beep boop might do it with the rage. Yeah, he does have, like, an immense amount of rage. Definitely and now. Pelka, I don't think, has DI beep boop correctly once yet. No, Not like he needs to at the low percents, but, like, yeah, he like, hasn't shown that he can. At kill percent, it's absolutely essential. Like, I don't even think a well DI'd boop at this point will kill. Right. We're just going for up smash. That, that might be too stock. risky. Yep. Wow, oh. clip, but he falls out. Lucky him. Falls out. Some, I'm, I'm not sure if he SDI'd it or just Adam. sometimes beep boop does that. And oh, all right. Really unsafe up Calling smash. out that up smash with the up smash. 150 on Rafi. So Pelka, who was in a pretty good position with a couple unfortunate whiffs, is now... Why are you always back now? Yeah, he's he's pretty down. Like he also at the beginning of this match, he started so well. 
And then just look. Oh. See, this is great conversions coming out from Raffi. He's just showing him. the dash attack to jab to down to again? Yeah, Raffi getting a little more aggressive. Uh, you're not really seeing him sit back like he usually does and just put and moves out there. He usually plays the ledge game, but up smash, calling out that gyro. Solid up smash. Yeah, I don't think he can afford to uh, to do it as much against Diddy. With Ooh, his that's an game. SD if I've ever seen one. Yeah, that is really unfortunate. So that is 2-0. Two 2-0 -oh. two oh, Raffi. Really Not bad. sure what ended up happening there. So Shane Pelka was starting to bring that back, and honestly, he's hoping game three that he can make the right adjustments. And I, you know, I have confidence. I think he can, he can bring I, this I, set I, completely back. I definitely think Pelka has what it takes to get back into this. He's, sh he's shown at the beginning of the game like how dominating he can be. And it's just a, a matter of if he can maintain that dominance. It's an interesting choice to uh, bring it to Duck Hunt. I actually see a lot of Diddy's go on this stage. I'm not sure what it is because Diddy doesn't really strike me as a, a super campy character, but... Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you just saw three bananas right into the ducks and they've just been nullified entirely. Are we going to see a fourth? I think the reason... There it is. That's there a is. fourth. <laughs> he's going for all the ducks. Uh, if he gets that one, then he gets a full score. Can I we? Think oh, maybe I'm the reason for the duck on counter pick might be that Diddy has See, more this time to just stand around with banana, wait for someone to overcommit to something. I think Rafi is like he's doing a really good job showing that he has a uh, he, he's he's shown to have a superior projectile game. Absolutely. Like you he, saw him kind of just like throwing so many things out that were comboing or like. And like, like, like a combo. When he's not throwing it out, if he has it, he's doing something really smart with it. So he's holding on to it and waiting for you to overcommit to an unsafe option. And chucking it at your face. Mm, Opting to do the kick there. I would have expected to just go for the, the command grab on monkey flip. I feel like it's always a better choice. Unless like you're recovering because like the monkey flip kick has like a ridiculous hitbox and mm. like even Zero Suit's up air will trade with that. It's looking like game two right now. Pelka is actually in the lead a little bit. He's doing a lot better than the other games. But Rafi with a really patient play. Ooh, air dodge. I thought that was a stock, but up air. Yeah. Didn't quite have the reach. Rafi really struggled Raffy to pick up this gyro. Uh, got the butterfingers of the lifetime here. <laughs> he was just, get away. Get stop, away. stop, stop. That's going to take the stock. Right, so this is the first game where Pelka took the first stock. So let's see what he can do with it. Good conversions from the banana. He's, <laughs> I feel like the ducks are really working against him here, but I, I guess the stage itself is working out for Pelka because yeah, he's winning. Yeah, I guess so. And that's another duck eating a banana. Another one? Feel. Another one. I uh, don't feel like that's good for them, but you know what? If they're an animal, I can't tell them what to do. Back throw. Interesting that Raffy didn't pummel in a, up for the up throw on the tree there. But I think he's kind of... Up smash. Oh, all right, right no now. punish. Gonna whiff it. Really nice walk back <laughs> after. It's looking like Pelka's game. Like, even if he dies right now, it's 60% that... 68% and growing that he has got a lead with. Yeah, he's not dying, surprisingly. That's something that... Raffi actually kind of struggles with when it comes to his beep boop thing, but that's going to take the stock. Yeah, that'll do it. Because he does autopilot a lot for that beep boop at certain percents. Uh, doesn't really know the exact percent to up throw kill sometimes, but nonetheless, he's still bring this back. You get banana combos using his projectile against him, waiting for that air dodge, but he's going to pop out and maybe, ooh, almost has another opportunity for uh, a boop. Oh, that would be it. Got to watch out where you pluck those bananas. That was a good wall bounce back here to get back on stage. I like the option that Pelka walked in, grabbed the man, and rolled back because he knows he's like, all right, I'm not going to deal with Rafi's space that he has with the gyro because I know he's going to shoot it. And the second I walk forward, that thing is going to hit me. Rafi, what from a lot of these pickups on the gyro? But he's actually kind of making this comeback, too. And this could be the. Ooh, all right, Pelka, smart decision, not going to air dodge there, knowing that Rafi's going to wait for it. Ooh, that was really scary. Mm, Got to watch out where you throw those monkey flips, and the dog almost interfered with something there. Gonna put out another banana. I like the decision. Right. The duck almost ate it again. Rafi trying to set up this wall. See, the second he's throwing a gyro, <laughs> it's funny. You see the banana. If he has it in hand. He's coming through it. Ooh. Ooh. All right. If you waited for get up, you probably could have got that up smash and taken the game. So, like, an up smash will definitely kill right now. Um, uh, be boop if it connects. Uh, yeah, I think one down tilt uh, trip from Diddy is going to be the stock. Ooh, oh, that might yeah. be it. Good patience oh. for Pelka just waiting for uh, Rafi to throw out an option. Oh, Ooh, this could be it. it. That's yep. it. That's it. All right. Uh, what I thought was a bad counter pick. Really doing it right now. Yeah. I, I think it might have been what I, what I was saying with the uh, the banana space that Diddy has. He has more space to kind of like understand the spacing of the gyro, the spacing that he has with the banana, and say like, okay, I understand this is going to separate me this much. 
and I'm just gonna have more room to wait it out and you just walk back and forth. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So Rafi now, since he's been up two games, he has the counter pick, and even if oh, all right, yeah, Town <laughs> City, Town City, you would expect uh, Pelka to ban that, but I guess he has been uh, landing his and yeah. his up smashes too. So is that what it's called? The down throw up air with Diddy Kong is a hoo ha. Oh, I thought you said zoo ha. No, oh, like, no, is that the name of the banana dog smash? Zoo ha. Wow. Sorry, that was uh, that was a weird conversion, but it so worked. Not only does Rafi know how to use gyro, he knows how to use banana too. He doesn't even play this character. Down B is like such an essential tool for both of these characters. Ooh, way for that. I like it. I don't know if down smash was like the maximum damage option he could have thrown out there. Like which? Oh, <gasps> oh, oh that, that was, was a cool. giffy. <laughs> Rafi's utilizing down smash really smart. Yeah. I think he's kind of like figured out a use for it now. Oh. <laughs> like just when your grab is out of range, you can probably just down smash. I don't know how. Like, isn't it his fastest smash? Um. Do you remember? I'm not sure. I actually think it might be. Maybe you just buy a frame or two over uh, up smash. Yeah, up smash um, is Unless you count fast. the launch hitbox on up smash, I think up smash beats it. Hmm. Which, uh, I mean, yeah. it doesn't matter because it's always going to send you into it. <laughs> Raffy I'm with the small percent lead right now. Ooh, almost go, goes without a smash. Probably would kill. Dead even. 93 apiece. Throwing projectiles at each other. Trading damage. Oh, Raffy. Behind by 1%. Oh. This could be it if this up air connects. Ooh, goes for Nair instead of just like jumping or air diving. That move got nerfed to hell and back. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to be the up smash. Decides not to go for it. Probably just oh, wanted a, a roll scary. read. One banana is probably going to end the stock. One down tilt or one banana, honestly. Yeah. Well, if he gets a trip off down tilt. What do you need it to trip? Is it? What? Did it down tilt? Down tilt doesn't trip. It doesn't? No. It just sends a. Uh, oh, it puts him in the tumble. Yeah, it puts him in tumble and it's like fairly close to the ground. My you bad. see uh, Pelka. Oh, Ooh, nice up smash. Pelka just runs past Raffy's shield and you don't really see Raffy doing anything about it. You don't see him throwing out a grab or throwing out an air to uh, Ooh. answer it. Oh, F smash. In the fair to F to the conversion from Pelka are on point right now. Ooh, all right, reads the roll, up smash. 31% on Raffi right now. That's really not a considerable lead considering that, like, like a few projectiles to a Bibu. We'll bring that right back. But yeah, Pelka's looking hot right now. Yeah, Pelka's putting in work. These rolls, too. Ooh, <laughs> not exactly sure what. Yeah, see, the kick is so good. Nair landing. Traditional yeah, Rob still. He is definitely caught on to, to the Rob uh, tradition of landing with Nair. This is going to be an easy 20%. 34. Another a little One. more damage to even it up. Another. Up air going to trade with Nair. I'm not sure which does more damage, but Nair looks more painful. Raffi's actually kind of evening this up, though. Ooh, that looks like a misinput to me. Who uh, wants to grab? Diddy comes up to Actually, a pretty underrated tool too. Uh, it's a kill move at really high percents, and yeah. covers and an interesting amount of space. Ooh, back arrow. Gotta watch oh. out where you land with that. This might be the end of it if he doesn't die right. That's it. Uh, oh, no? great di. He's gonna oh. live. He was not denying that right all game. I thought that was it. Kick, gonna hold the banana. Kick, can you oh, believe it? Now this could be it. it. That's he falls out. Wow. Pelka getting really lucky, not dying to these beep boops. I I, the first one was lucky. Died, but I think it might be because he. Di down after the jump. I don't know. He's doing something right though. Oh, down smash definitely yeah. gonna take it though. Really great stuff games though. I like I like the showing from Palka. Like he played phenomenally and he definitely showed that he, he's not out of the game yet. So I guess 